He died while handcuffed in the custody of a Harris County constable. And new at 5 o'clock, the family of Jamal Amron says they are still waiting for justice and accountability more than a decade later. I got to talk about it. What we're going to do? We're going to just keep it a secret like nothing happened to Jamal? That family is not satisfied despite a new settlement from Harris County. KPRC 2's Taisha Walker is live in spring tonight. And Taisha, Amron's family describes this killing as similar to how George Floyd died. Chris, Jamal's family says their son died just feet away from where that drive through window is. They say while George Floyd died at the knee of a cop, they say their son died under the foot of a deputy. Visiting their son, Jamal, will never get easy. It's been more than 10 years since his death, and they're still seeking justice. Jamal was shaken on the ground. The officer put his boot on his face for three to five minutes. Jamal suffocated. Jamal Amron died in the parking lot of this Burger King on East Cypresswood Drive in spring on September 30th, 2010, handcuffed and in the custody of Harris County Precinct 4 deputies. He had some sort of uh, cocaine in his body that night and he didn't feel good. And he called 911. He asked for help. And this is how his help came. Jurors in a civil court case found that deputies used excessive force. The family was supposed to receive money, but an appeals court reversed the decision. Today, Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo says the county has reached a settlement with the family, saying the case was eerily similar to George Floyd's. Jamil died just like George Floyd. He was helpless. Imagine, officer put the food on Jamal's face to three to five minutes after injection. Can he breathe anymore? No. Jamal's mother, Barbara Coates, says the undisclosed settlement isn't justice for her son. She wants the deputies held accountable. For him to die like that, and that's all I see every day. You know, I, this is something that's, that's, in, that's in my vision, is, is when I go to sleep, I see it. When I wake up, it's pure torture. That family still feeling the effects of that day. Almost 11 years later, County Attorney Christian Menefee released a statement saying in part, this settlement will not bring Mr. Amron back to his family, but I hope that it provides them some solace. Uh, the family says that they could care less about the money. In fact, they would give it back in a heartbeat if they could, if that meant getting some true accountability for their son. Reporting live in spring, Taisha Walker, KPRC 2 News.